Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. We want John! I need John! You need John! We want John! We want John! Why don't we want him now? In John We Trust. That's the message of a student-led protest held Thursday afternoon at the JFK Kmart intersection. 15-year-old John F. Kennedy High School sophomore Shayla Kichicho coordinated the event in hopes of bringing Superintendent John Fernandez back. Today we are having a protest to save our Superintendent John Fernandez. Kichicho was joined by dozens of students along with members of John Fernandez's family and even members of the GEB, including Maria Gutierrez and Peter Alexis Ada, two of three members who voted not to terminate Fernandez's contract. Kichicho says she doesn't understand the board's decision. I just think that it should have been more um, explained to students because uh, we think that he is such a great uh, superintendent. The protest follows the resignation of two board members. Governor Eddie Calvo wrote to his three appointees last week asking for their immediate resignations, saying he greatly regrets their appointments. Charlene Conception submitted a written resignation, whereas Ryan Torres verbally gave his resignation to the board chair. Ken Chargaloff, meanwhile, says he would like to see this process completed first. The resignations come just as a bill of particulars was submitted to John Fernandez's lawyers on Wednesday. GEB legal counsel Gary Gumatauto. Does the board have a copy of the bill of particulars? The, the board, I've circulated it to them, but because I don't trust the board, somebody's are out of that board gave away that investigative report. And so the agreement by the board was we would just circulate the, board, the bill of particulars. They look out, and they can come to my office and look at it anytime they want. Gumatauto says while he cannot release the bill of particulars to the public, he believes it will eventually come out when the public hearing is scheduled. Governor Calvo, meanwhile, has criticized the board's decision, saying the Department of Education is not a political arena. Do you feel there's being a lot of politics being played here? Oh, for sure. How so? Oh, I, I think everything in Guam is like that. But in this particular case with John Fernandez, how could I, I it be? Think, well, think about it. Why would somebody release... A board member released that report. Why would they do that? Gumatauto says while he has his suspicion, he cannot confirm who, if any, leaked the investigation report. A special GEB meeting was held this morning with more than an hour spent in executive session, part of which involved discussion on the Bill of Particulars. He adds while this is new for DOE, he hopes people will still have faith in the process. I hope that people trust the system to work because it needs to work right. You know, and this is a new area for all of us. We've never done this before. We've, we've lost a lot of uh, superintendents, you know, and, it, and it's been done different ways. But, and, and this one, of course, is unique because we've never had a public hearing like this set up. So I don't know what's going to happen. As for students like Kichicho, she hopes DOE doesn't lose John Fernandez. I hope that the, the board members uh, see how much John Fernandez means to uh, students as a whole and to bring him back. As for what's next following the Bill of Particulars, a public hearing will now be set for some time next month at one of the public high schools. As for this student-led protest, the coordinators plan another one for next Friday, October 21st from 4 to 6 p.m. at the ITC intersection. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.